Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Citrus and let's make something really nasty with some FM here. So let's go oversampling first, actually no, default subtracted first, and then change our oversampling to like four or something like that. So we have a saw wave. Now let's change this to a sine wave to begin with. And for our filter, let's open this up so we can hear what's going on here. Now for the second operator, we're gonna select a triangle, convert shape to sine harmonics and give it some, some uh, frequency modulation. Wow. Okay, let's turn that bad boy down. And let's start making some interesting harmonics here. And drop this down to maybe 0.5. Or maybe even just one. That might be kind of cool there. So what we can do is turn this about right here and get the volume and maybe do an LFO or something like that. See what that sounds like. So let's click this pencil on and kind of just draw our own shape here by selecting tempo and bringing this up like that. Or we could even do that with a with an envelope. Put it on tempo here and maybe do this on a half beat right over here. Something kind of like that. Let's make sure our magnets on. Let's see what point five sounds like. That sounds pretty mean. Let's see if we uh, have some other harmonics here. That's pretty nasty here. So let's go to our filter here and turn on some wave shaping. And maybe go for the first one. Something kind of like that. And for our cut here, let's turn this on tempo as well. And maybe... Okay, so we have an interesting top timbre here. Now, if we did three to two, for two, we have our volume here. So let's copy this shape here. And let's go to the third one and paste this right over here. And then have three, bring us to modulate two. Maybe down an octave. Let's see, maybe 0.25, what was that sound like? Eh, maybe no, we don't even need that. That might be actually fine here. So in that case, what we can do is for three, we can always set this as a sub bass if we'd like to. Maybe something kind of like this here, extend the release, maybe like that, and then send this out directly. And obviously drop down it to 0.5. And then for our filter cutoff here, let's give our filter envelope. Let's give it a nice little release there. And we can add some unison. So something about three. And for the phase, let's do that within this oscillator here. So oscillator phase, random. Let's give it a random phase, something like that. And then the unison phase as well. Let's make sure that's a little bit different. And maybe for the cut, we can do a mod. So cut mod X, something like this. Put this all the way down. Put this guy all the way up. Let's go check that out. And then for the sub bass, I'd like to actually put that on the uh, mod. So for three, since this is going to be our sub bass here, let's go for Y. Let's go for the volume and let's turn this like so. So we can have our sub bass on Y. Something like that. That would be kind of nice. Okay. 
Okay, so start adding some effects here. Let's go to the effects bank over here, sum this up. And for our chorus, let's do something like stereoize. Maybe add some delays here. Maybe two might be a little bit better. And have the serial. And then for our reverb here, we want to be kind of nice if we go to the reverb and something like small studio. And then for the mix here, I kind of have this fruity blood overdrive here, which kind of helps out making this kind of sound. So let's increase this a little bit more. sound like almost as an arp here something like let's turn the arp on so let's maybe go down okay so we need to clean up the eq a little bit here so let's change this to peaking and let's find that nastiness and give us uh, maybe some high end or some mid-range Something like that might be kind of nice. And from here, you can really kind of scroll through the different filters that you like here. So let's kind of see what uh, other, other options we have. Well, that one's kind of cool. And if you don't know about it, this filter is also kind of cool. The cherry phaser here. <laughs> That's kind of insane, buddy. Yeah, so be careful with that one. That one looks pretty wild. So let's check out the Lime Low Pass. Ooh, I kind of like that. It's almost like a rhythmic kind of thing. We can always smooth this out a little bit too with the volume envelope here as well. We can always drop our sustain entirely and kind of put on tempo here. Kind of make it a little bit curvier, I suppose. Or however you like it. Operator 4 would sound like as a saw wave through the filter here. So, kind of gives it a nice little overtone there. Increase our tempo here, so I'm kind of manageable. Yeah, the more you turn up X, it gets really crazy. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit more reverb. Might be kind of cool on this. So yeah, that can turn out really nice and soft and kind of rhythmic. To just chaotic. So I'll put the X as a uh, crazy chaos knob, even though it's just a cutoff. But yeah, that was some kind of crazy and unexpected. So yeah, hopefully you learned something and trying out some cool patch like this as well. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.